We have many events during the year, but for me, this is the showcase of what Variety do in the property sector. It's absolutely fantastic. The support we've had, and particularly this year with a big build, this is a completely organised Variety event, and there is a theme and a narrative running through this event about what we do for the children in our region, whether we do the big build or whether we, what was our commitment towards, you know, still supplying specialist equipment and wheelchairs. Then, of course, we've got the Variety Great Days out. And I hope people, when they come to this event, and they do support us phenomenally, that they actually realise where the money goes. Once the clapping ceased, what we actually spend the money on and say thank you. And it's, a big, it's a big opportunity for me to say thank you as Chair of the Board for everybody who supports us so well. I think we're all really proud as a community to be raising money, and considerable amounts of money for the charity. It's a good charity, we all love it. I'm always amazingly impressed at how well organised this is and how you get the people to part with the money so easily. I think, you know, it must make such a difference and an impact to, to you know, the Variety Club and um, it, the projects that you show are just so inspiring that I think about all the different events that, that go on throughout the year, for me this is the one that I always feel that you're giving something back to as, as well as having an excellent night. It is absolutely, yeah. To get near enough 1,200 people, I think, here on an evening is tremendous, yeah. And everyone really looks forward to this, this event. They know everybody's here, they all want to be here, and they know who's organising with the effort that goes in, so it's really valuable. I would like to ask, first and foremost, those companies have been absolutely instrumental in this project, and without whom it simply wouldn't have been possible to come up to the stage. multiple special educational needs schools across Yorkshire that are desperately lacking resources and their only hope is the Variety Big Build which is where you come in. These children and their families are being failed and quite simply it is unacceptable. It's been amazing what's been achieved at Springwater through consultants using their contacts, contractors using their contacts and supply chains for very little money that's been put in to what effectively has been a very large project. But it was a real surprise to see the poor standard that the school was in and that we felt that we have to help these children. Um, if we, nobody else is going to help them, why can't we step in and help them? This is the first time me and Alfie seen the playground, isn't it Alfie? And it's absolutely amazing. On behalf of myself and mum, and all the parents at Springwater School would just like to say thank you so much. We are so lucky and we are so grateful for everything you've done and just thank you. It's a privilege to have been able to be part of the judging panel, looking at the different schemes and input that a number of the companies and individuals have made in the past year, all around the Yorkshire region. Jane Armitage, Barclays, Game Changer, South Bank. We're hoping in a way that it's going to open up the area, it's going to put the South Bank on the map, encourage visitors to the region and certainly encourage new investment into the region as well. In the 1960s when most of the town centre was redeveloped previously, they undid everything that was good about the town. So the Victorian fabric, the streets, the permeability that the town centre had was completely destroyed. So our first task was to unpick that and get the town centre functioning much more better in terms of pedestrian flow, the separation of cars and people. David Hodgson, CEG, Game Changer, Thought Park. It starts well over a quarter of a century ago. The first phase we did at Thought Park was more conventional business park units, offices. The game changer was the financial crisis that kicked off in the UK in sort of 2008, 2009. Please welcome Variety's Chief Parker, Harold Tillman. This is my first time coming here and I'm certainly going to come every year from now. It's just incredible and just to thank all of you for doing this for what is the most privileged charity variety for the 70 years that it's contributed.
This person didn't train as a property person originally, but is a true property professional and understands the industry absolutely thoroughly. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it's my honour to welcome to the stage a well-respected legend in the industry, John Sutcliffe. Really, really proud to have received the award and the respect of, of your peers and, uh, and variety is, is so humbling. Um, in terms of variety, it's a fantastic charity. I spent probably 10 years helping them raise money at this uh, event, the uh, Yorkshire Property Awards event. Um, and some of the people that variety help are some of the most disabled and disadvantaged children uh, in, in the north of England. And, you know, I can't think of a better way for businesses and the property business in particular to support those children. Please. Welcome to the stage, Scott Clark of ISG. I'm, I'm just so taken back by the award, I didn't see it coming. And um, it's, it's more of a sort of celebration of, of ISG and the team and the, and the clients that we work with and the consultants. So it's a really, it's a, it's a team effort to celebrate that. It's not just about me. So yeah, thank you to uh, everybody that, you know, uh, backed me for this award and uh, yeah, let the, let the good work continue. And ladies and gentlemen, what a night. A massive round of applause first and foremost to everyone who has organised tonight. You have done a phenomenal job. I had people coming up from me from very, very large companies and saying, look, we want to help. Here's my business card. Call us. We'll do this. We'll do that. And it actually has been phenomenal, the support. And people want to see, they want to, they want to feel they're doing some and making a difference in the region. I think this really is an opportunity for them to do that.